Hey guys, it's PiperX420 of pureglitching.com and today I'm doing a little something different for you guys. Um, I've been searching the web and a lot of people have been having the same problem as I was a few years back and that problem was that they couldn't find a working copy of Blade Runner for Windows 7, 64-bit, and etc. So, what I've done is I've actually ported the installer to work on 64-bit systems, and it might quite possibly work on Windows 8 as well. Um, I don't own a Windows 8 computer myself, so I cannot test Windows 8, so I'm not sure if it will work. If one of you guys can do it, that would be great. Let me know how it works, but for Windows 7, I can guarantee that this installer will work for you guys. As you can see here, I'm uploading them for you guys right now, so I will be posting the links in the description for you guys so you can download that up and get your game on for those of you who have been dying to play this game for years, who even own a copy of it probably and can't install it just because the game won't let you install it. And I had the same problem. I own a copy of it, and it won't let me install it. But now that I've done this, it allows me to, and now I can play the game and have fun again. But a uh, few things. So let's uh, show you the installer here. So when you open it up, it's going to take a while. And I mean it's going to take a very long time. Like, as you can see here, it still hasn't popped up. But eventually, down here, a Windows security thing will pop up. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There we go. And as you can see, well, I don't think you can see it in the video, but it's going to ask you, do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to your computer? Click yes. As you can see now, it's saying verifying installer. This was a very big game first time, so it will take a little bit to load. It's over a gig, so be patient. And there you go. Set up. We'll install Blade Runner, the game, in the following folder to... Install in a different folder, click Browse and select another folder, click Install to start the installation, and you just choose your folder, click Install, it'll install it, which I've already done, just so I could test it, make sure it was working for you guys. And then we're just going to click Blade Runner here. Now, 
you're going to notice that everything's a little fucked up right now. All you got to do to fix this, I'll tab it. It'll bring you back to the desktop. Then I'll tab back to Blade Runner. And check it out. Everything's all fixed now. Now, if you are playing on a big screen TV like I am that doesn't natively support uh, 640 by 480 or even 800 by 600 then it's going to look kind of weird for you guys. If you're on a normal laptop or LCD monitor then you shouldn't have any worries about that. Now let's just skip this here. Animal sales was a profitable and just show and you the game's working here. Most real animals had died out after no the graphical war. errors. There were plenty of electric ones though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. And there we go. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been oh, trashed. As you guys you can ought see, to see this tiger the game is good. working. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining so about just be patient pain. with the installer. You'd feel the same way if they were your it animals. It will take a little bit perks. to load up. At least two. And, like, I have a really good seat. computer, and it took a Must while. Must be a delightful up, sight. So it happens. All right. So there you guys go. So if you're wondering uh, how to get this install file, basically the way it works is uh, what the hell happened to my screen? Let's remove that. There we go. So, basically, as you can see, we have three files. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3. You just open up Part 1. And you're going to get this. And you'll see Blade Runner EXE in there. And you just click and drag it to your desktop. And that's all you have to do. It'll do the rest. And then once you have your Blade Runner EXE, you just double click it, install, and you're done. It's as simple as that. And as I said, I will be leaving the links in the description of the video below. So you guys can download it and play it yourselves and have some fun. So until next time, this is Viper Export 20 signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video helped you guys out. And I will see you guys around again next time. Until then, take care.